When you first log into Weebly, you'll arrive at the home page, and what you're going to want to do is to click into the text box at the top and type the title of your web page. For me, I already typed in all about Rhodesian Ridgebacks, but you can see it's a text box, and um, if you decide to change the title at any time, you can go back and do so. The next thing to do is to change your uh, the image, which is the default one here. And I suppose if you were doing it on um, raising little green plants, it would be fine, but yours probably isn't. So you're going to go to Edit Image, and over here on the left, I'm going to Add Image. It says click to upload a file from your computer. And I've already got my Weebly website folder ready to load. You may have to navigate to yours. Uh, on our school computers and you grab one picture at a time. Unfortunately, you can't grab more than one. So that's okay. So I'm going to click this little dog and say open and it's going to take up the whole frame of the picture. You can see down here it's uploading and then all you need to do is just like we've done many times before is resize it. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this and this is called the banner of your web page and so there's my first picture and I'm happy with it and when you click on the picture you can crop rotate play with the opacity so if you want it to be transparent or not you bring that all the way up say okay uh, you can fade it out there's some cool effects you can do with fading as well and I guess you have to drag the slider bar here to get some effects and change this to see from which area it's going to fade. I'm going to say OK. And uh, you can also get the black and white effect, antique, normal, Polaroid, which puts a little old-fashioned frame around it, or burning the edges. I'm going to go back to normal. I'm going to say OK and OK. And now I'm going to get two more pictures and put them on the banner. And that's how you create, let's see which one this one is, puppies, uh, the banner for your web page. And again, it's uploading, uploads complete, and resize. And I'll make it fit, and in just a minute I'll have a nice banner with three, possibly four pictures, depending on what size the pictures are and how they come in. I like mine to be exactly the same size, so I measure to see. Uh, but you could certainly vary the sizes depending on your needs for your web page.